affected. Well, joining us on the line now from Washington is Paul Shimotogloka. He is the CEO of New Use Energy Solutions. It's a company which designs and manufactures portable battery generators. Paul, thank you for coming on World Business Report for us. Um, you've woken up to this news that inflation is um, nearly at the Federal Reserve's target of 2%. We're at 3%. What does that mean for your business? Uh, it, it's good news looking forward, uh, but it doesn't rectify all the inflation that we've experienced for the last several years. Um, so small businesses like ours really don't have deep pockets to absorb inflation, and it has an impact on us right away. We feel it fast, and you know we have to pass it on, and we're still playing catch up from the effects of the last several years. What about pressures on wages? Because the cost of living has been going up in the United States and around the world. And people who work for you have been asking for wage rises, I'm sure. Yeah, for a small business, uh, it actually prevents us from hiring. We have to use more of our spare cash to retain existing employees as they're being hurt. Uh, they're feeling a lot of pressure from their home budgets. Uh, we have offices in Phoenix and north of Seattle, which are two areas that really continue to grow uh, fast uh, since COVID finished still. And so housing prices have created a lot of pressure on them in recent years. But things like property tax increases, uh, food prices, continued shortage of new and used automobiles, and then increasing costs of services stresses out our core committed team a lot. Has it stopped people from buying? You know, consumers of your products. That was the point, wasn't it? That the why Federal Reserve's you know hike up interest rates to try and tame inflation is to try and stop spending. Has that happened? Well, you, you know, we're in the business of replacing old technologies, mainly portable gasoline generator usage uh, with new technologies. And the upfront costs are a little bit higher uh, than it is to, to purchase uh, or to rather continue to use your existing generator. So what it has done is it's caused some of our customers to pause. So it's not exactly a stop, but they're trying to milk their existing assets uh, longer and they're not making the transition towards a cleaner, easier to use, uh, uh, healthier solution. Um, so, but on the other hand, it is interesting that at times high, higher fuel prices actually does help our business as it shortens the payback period versus gasoline generators. Um, so when you can use, uh, in our systems, you can use solar power. So it, it, there's no real cost once you, you've made the upfront investment. But it's making that upfront investment that uh, a part of our uh, target customer base uh, finds it difficult to make now. Do you think that the news today will start to alleviate that pressure on those people making those decisions? Or have we still got a little ways to go yet? I think we still have a little ways to go. We uh, it is it needs a track record, and you know the, the the hardest thing is the effect on home budgets and when are wages going to be able to catch up, or when are food prices going to go down, uh, and you know housing prices have started to taper off. But interest rates are up. So if you're buying a new home, it's not like you're actually saving any cash because you're still putting out the same or more on a monthly payment. So it's not as simple as just that core inflation number and its effect on people. Um, there are you know, other side factors that affect those uh, business budgets and, and the home budget. Our focus are business customers. And I think the most important thing is business confidence. I do think it'll help business confidence. Um, but I do think it needs another month or two of track record to have businesses breathe a sigh of relief and make those critical capital investments. We talk about these high interest rates, which the Federal Reserve um, push interest rates up to try and tame inflation. Do you see it as a kind of consumer? So maybe just you know turning to your family budget. Do you see that more money is coming into your bank account through higher interest rates you know, on your savings? 
Uh, it is. It, it reminds me uh, uh, when I was young and you could actually make certain uh, or, or get a reasonable amount of interest. Um, so for sure, it, it absolutely has an impact. It allows you to make a safer investment for what you've squirreled away in your, your nest egg. Uh, simply putting that into a, a medium term CD at 5% versus having to risk it in the market. Uh, so there's a little bit there that allows you to take less riskier investments investments and uh, that makes one sleep a little easier sometimes at night. Well, thank you very much and I hope you sleep well tonight. Thank you, Paul Shimotoloka, for coming on the program and talking to us about that.